Can I just point out I was in a good mood before I came on here? I can't wait to, just to, wanna... to... I can't wait to speak to Sean. Sean's amazing. I can't mate, wait man. to What's speak to Sean. What's happening in Sean's head? Hello, Sean. Hey, guys. How you doing? I'm... Listen, Sean, I'm great. How are you doing, boss? I'm not so good with this stuff that's been going on for the past few weeks and months. Man. This club is just becoming a mess. And some, I don't know what's going on. Okay. I'll set you up with the question because I think I know what you're going to say. What needs to happen next, Sean? Manager needs to go. We're just delaying the inevitable. Hey, sorry. Okay. He He's played five games. Right. They've been awful this season. Can't. I can't yeah. disagree with it. Last season, what was your view? Top four, two finals, one of them. Man United won the League Cup. What was your view last season? My view last season was well. Before he came, I wasn't a fan, but I said, you know what? I'll give him a chance. And then when us when we concluded, I was like, you know what? He's doing okay. I have my I had my reservations. I was like, is he going to take... I mean, it depends on what you want from Man United. You want Man United to be a team that's challenging for the title or just being happy to make top four? Okay, but let me ask you, out of 10 last season, Mark Eric Ten Hag for me, out of 10. Six. Seven at most. Seven at most. Top four, two, two finals, one of them we won. Seven out of 10. I can't, yeah? do, you know, do you know what? I can't believe, and this is... Hold on, hold on. Let me just finish. Hold on, that's a two-part question. Wait, hold on. Put so much stock into the League Cup. There's a time you guys would go no, no, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. Even Sean's laughing because he knows. Mourinho's first trophy at Chelsea was the League Cup, right? Yep. And and then all great things happen. I'm Mm. not comparing, obviously, but I'm just saying the League Cup sometimes can be important. Right? You've marked him 7 out of 10 for last season. What is he this season after five games? Oh, not more than a three. So he's dropped four points in five games. Yes. A a little bit like Man United. Look at the look at our starting eleven. If when I saw on the weekend, there was, I'm not fair enough. There's all these memes going around about the number of players that we've got that are injured at the moment. But the players that was on the pitch, at least six of our starting eleven individually, they cost more than Brighton's team combined. So we have more than enough. Brighton are a really good team, Mate, Joe. Brighton made six changes. That's because of the manager. That's down to the manager. Why can Casemiro, Bruno, Eriksen, and McTominay? not be able to put passes together against um, Pascal Grobe, Mo Dahoud, and Adam Lallana, who was dropped from Liverpool how many years ago? He had, Lam- he had Lamptey playing at left-back. Makeshift team, Brian. Good player, Lamptey. Yeah, from right-back. Craig's up next. Thanks for your call, Sean. Craig's up next to Man United fan. Hi, Craig. Hello there. You're right. I'll be honest, I've had better Mondays, if you want my honest <laughs> answer. How are you, Craig? I feel a bit, about, a bit the same like you, mate, mm. if I'm honest. Uh, the last call he just said he was the manager gone. What's your view on that? I don't think he's a man. I really don't. I think um, you've got to look at how Postacoglu has done at Spurs, uh, how Deserby's done at Brighton with half as much money, less time, and the same players they were inherited pretty much. So, Craig, let me ask you a question then. What is the end game for Manchester United this season? What, what are the expectations? Because if you look at some of the sides that are in and around you, well, not in and around you because you're 12th or 11th, I think, but when, when, you, when you get the teams that are at the top of the table... It pays me uh, to correct you, but with 13th. Where exactly are you expecting to finish this year? Well, I mean, at the start of the season, we were sort of excited. You know, we thought, oh, decent signings, striker in, mount in, some more depth, good goalkeeper in rather than De Gea. But now we'd be lucky to get top four. I think we'll be fighting for fifth. Ooh. I think, see, I think you're battling for top eight. Oh, sh- but come on, Benzie. Top eight. Come on. Okay, n- name me what, aside in the top eight, you've been better than this season. I was only played five games. Well, it was not okay, small sample size, but just give me one. No. Uh, <laughs> Dion's, <laughs> Dion's up next. Hello, Dion. How we doing, boys? You all right? No. How are you? Oh, you're a Liverpool fan. Be, oh, my he's goodness. He's buzzing, I'm buzzing. This will be fun. No, like, so yeah, as a Liverpool fan, from the outside looking in, I think we need to talk about golden boys, Marcus Rashford, he is a, not average. He's a good player. That's it. Nothing more, nothing less. He's a purple patch player who goes through trust where he's well class. And then he'll go and miss him for six or seven weeks. Yet watching the match on Saturday, out of possession, he was absolutely garbage. He offers nothing. He's lazy. He doesn't track his men. Then in possession, he's a one trick pony. Cuts inside. Does the same thing. I, think, I counted five times on Saturday. He could have given the ball to Holland for a tap in. Mm. And he uh, decided to shoot. I just think he's so ball greedy. Mm. Do you know what? Dio makes a really good point, right? When he talks about um, purple patches, we saw Rashford have a purple patch after the weekend where he was unstoppable. But too often over the last few years, no, few, over the last few years, he'll have a period where he's hot, then he'll go missing. Goes through it hot, missing. You need someone who's consistent. Consistent. So when people talk about world class, not for me. No way. And, that, and when people talk about people address, they look at the numbers that Rashford puts up and they look at Saka, 
Saka is so much more consistent than Rashford. Mm. So much more, week in, week out. Even if he doesn't score, he does something. I can't even ask you the Welbeck question today, can I? Hey, so, hey you saw it first and mate. Welbeck, told See? you. I Be- set you up, Be- Better than Rashi, told you. He's not better than Rashford. Uh, Ashley's that up guy, he's, your, he's your mate, isn't he? Who will be? Yeah. yeah that Why don't you get him on the show? Why have you not got him on? He doesn't really. I don't think he does. Jack's the guy, Jack's the guy to get to him. Is Jack Wilshire? Yeah. Oh, he never picks up his phone. Uh, Ashley's up next. Hi, Ashley. Hello, boys. How you doing? I'm great. How are you? Uh, not too bad, to be fair. Go cool, on then. What's the problem? Not with you, with problem. your club. The players need to get off holiday and start playing football, to be fair. Mm. Oh, go on. And 10, well, to be honest, 10 Hag was a little bit to blame on Saturday. Obviously, he's got two wingers, uh, then Garn Actual and Pleasure, young and dedicated to the job, but yet they put Bruno Fernandes out in the wing. He's not a winger. He's a cam that can create space. He can spread a ball for a vibe and they do in his game. And like the last caller said, Rashford, when he lost the ball in one of the plays, he literally walked back. And I think from that thing, they scored. Yeah. The it's... players just need to wake up, mate. Obviously, we can say injuries and all that, but we're supposed to be a top four club. Do you but... keep the manager, Ash? Yeah, Ten Hag, okay. there's not nothing against him. All these like people saying, get rid of the manager. Who else are we going to get? There's yeah. only one other manager that can probably go in there and do a job with the players they've got now. Can you, Bentley? Thanks for your question. Well, that's not one that's available. But would I can okay, let me ask would you Deserby do a better, just about, Would he do a better job than Ten Hag? You can't argue with the fact that Deserby's not anything other than an unbelievable manager. Yeah, an unbelievable manager, <sighs> pound for pound. He's unbelievable. He's probably the best with what he's got mm. to work with and what he's done for that bright side. And let's not forget when Potter left, everyone was like, "Well, they never get better next. than that." He has been above and beyond. Yeah, they are just honestly. So and you've seen, as we alluded to earlier, players leave his and management. Struggle. They, his they leave his system and yeah. struggle. Yeah, great manager. Talk Sport Drive. Super opinionated sporting debate. Monday to Friday afternoon from 4 on AM, on DAB, via the Talk Sport app, and on your smart speaker. Talk Sport.